Most states around the country are experiencing a vaccination lag, even as vaccines become more widely available. The culprit behind this lag? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, most vaccine hesitancy has come from young, rural, and lower-income people. More data shows that at least 10% of people who received one dose of an mRNA vaccine have yet to get their second shot. But some experts have come up with a solution, researchers found in a study published in May that people who were texted encouraging them to get the flu vaccine were more likely to get inoculated, and some states have begun using the same strategy to increase vaccination rates. Heng Chen Dai, an assistant professor at the University of California, Los Angeles, tested the text messages at UCLA's health system, finding that the message reminders boosted vaccination rates by as much as 3.4 percentage points. Oklahoma launched a statewide texting campaign earlier this month to reach people across the state with details about how to find an appointment near them. The federal government also launched one in May. The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment used a different approach. Monday, it called residents who hadn't received the vaccine to remind them to get inoculated and to provide them with information on where to get vaccinated. Various other states have employed lotteries and cash incentives to get residents inoculated. Study author Dr. Mitesh Patel told CNN it was unlikely that the texts would convince a hesitant person to get vaccinated. But there's probably 10% of people who are just vaccine apathetic, he said. They're not against it, but they're not going to go out of their way to get it, and that 10% could really push us toward herd immunity. The latest World Health Organization update reported Tuesday that last week reflected the lowest COVID mortality rate globally since early November 2020, with 57,000 new deaths in total. But the rate of new cases remained similar to the previous week, with over 2.6 million new cases. South Korea is reporting its biggest daily rise in new coronavirus cases in about two months, just a day before it plans to relax its physical distancing rules. The Supreme Court on Tuesday allowed a federal moratorium on evictions imposed in response to the coronavirus pandemic to remain in place. The move came days after the Biden administration extended the moratorium another 30 days, through July 31. Officials told the court that the CDC did not intend to extend it again after the end of next month. Effective July 12th, unionized auto workers in the US who have been fully vaccinated against the novel coronavirus will no longer have to wear face masks at work. Massachusetts reported far fewer coronavirus cases in the week ending Sunday, adding 374 new cases. That's down 28.1% from the previous week's tally of 520 new cases of the virus that causes COVID-19. 90.